Hi everyone, CNX Soft here. This is Transmart Draco AWA80 Meta connected to my HDMI TV and uh, Ethernet, uh, USB 3 hard drive from Seagate, HDMI right, and power. I've got a webcam and a USB hub uh, with the RF dongles from my uh, air mouse and gamepad and a USB flash drive. Okay. All right. So uh, this is the IR remote provided. There is no power button on the box, but I can use the remote to turn it on. Okay, it's on now. Uh, but during the review, I prefer to use the Melee F10 Deluxe. Uh, since it provides a mouse function. Uh, the boot time is not quite as fast as the Rockchip RK32 boxes. Uh, mm, it takes about 45 seconds uh, and the, the best one I've tried until now takes 20 seconds. Okay, but this is just a detail. Okay, so the, the first time you boot, there is nothing in the screen, just the background on after you install the application you want. Okay, uh, one thing you cannot, the zone for icon is not on the full screen, right? You are limited to the area here. All right, so let's go to the settings. This is Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Gigabit is working, Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, including 802.11.ac are all working OK, as well as Bluetooth. OK, get VPN and tethering. Uh, sound, you can enable pass-through. I haven't tried. I don't still have, don't have hardware. And you can select the new output mode. Uh, audio codec probably means PCM, HDMI probably means path-through, HDMI on the last one is SPDIF path-through. And the display, alright, one, one thing, uh, by default the font is normal, like this. Uh, it's nice if you use it as a PC, like you are very close from the screen, but if you use it from your sofa, in your living room, maybe you are 3 meters, 4 meters from the TV, you should probably set to huge to see anything. And then there's something called HDMI full screen mode, I have no idea what it is, maybe it's for tablets. Okay, on display output, uh, you've got 720p, 1080p, including 24 Hz on 4K, as well as composite, but I haven't tried since. In a recent survey, nobody used composite output. In the storage, it's a single partition, which is nice, uh, with 12 gigabytes in total out of the 16 uh, gigabytes of the EMC. There are also some options here to scan media, but I, I don't know why it's used. Alright, languages. I guess this is the same for all Android media players or Android devices. I still go through in case your language is missing. Okay, developer options are enabled by default. Oh, I didn't want to do that. And about box is a Draco AW80 Android 4.4.2 with kernel version 3.439 built by somebody in Sunship apparently. And the build number JOTWDP1. This one looks like the the board name or the platform name. Okay, so let's go. Here I will show you some results and to two. I get almost fifty thousand points. 
non-verified score, 49,657. I'll post the detail in the written review. CPU Z, gate finds 8 cores, power, VR, power VR GPU. On here you can see the model number is Draco AW80 on the Geo TV DP1 comes again. Yeah, the screen resolution in DP is also 1080p, that's why the, uh, the font is very small. So I'll just go through XPMC quickly. It's a Kodi actually, Kodi 14. I'll play some video files. Okay, Big Bug Bunny. It's all nice and smells. Uh, but you'll notice it's only using two uh, CPU cores in this platform. And then system info. Okay, the UI is rendering slowly sometimes because I play video, but most of the time at 60 frames per second on its Kodi 14 Alpha 3. Okay, let's exit. And uh, if you want to power off, you can press the power button for one over one or two seconds and you press OK. And done. Okay, thank you for watching. If you want more detail, remember to read the review linked below. Thank you. Bye bye.